Hi and welcome back to another AutoWay video. In today's video we've got this Mercedes Sprinter 2013 model in for a spare key. So we've got our customer's original key, we've got our AutoWave key AUTRK0039. So we've got our laptop, we've got our CGDI MB device plugged in with our USB and we've got the other end in our USB and in a OBD connector sorry up on the left hand side near the fuse box so we've opened up our main screen and the first thing we need to do is we need to read our EIS so we've got EIS on the left hand side selected we're going to go read EIS data so we've read our data I always just like to save this file just so I've got it so let's just save it so what we're going to do, let's go desktop, um, let's, let's get a new folder, actually, new folder, let's put Mercedes Sprinter, open that folder and then we'll just save the EIS data into that folder so now we've got that we need to get our password so we're going to go to compute password now we're going to follow the steps on the screen so copy key with key copy key without key well we've got a key so we're going to do that first option now we're going to press collect data so we're going to select other keys Please insert the key into the EIS and click OK. So I've got my new menu, sorry. So I've got my old key, original key. I'm going to put that into the EIS. I'm not going to turn it on. I've just inserted it and I'm going to press OK. Please insert this key into the CG MB device. So I'm going to remove it, put it into my MD, MB device and press OK. So now it's collected the data from my original key. I'm going to please insert it back into the EIS. So just literally putting it in the EIS and I'm going to press OK. Just follow the instructions on the screen at all times. Please pull out the key from the EIS and press OK. So I'm just removing the key and I'm going to press OK. Please insert the key into the IS again. So just pull it back in again. Press OK. Pull out the key for five seconds and then insert again. So one, two, three, four, five seconds. Insert in again. OK. Please insert the key into the CG MB device. So insert it into the device. Press OK. And that should be collections done. So I'm going to save this file now. Save file successful. Please upload the data to calculate the password. So all I do now is upload data. I select the file that I've just got. So that's going to be the latest file, time 11.19. Now it's just connecting to the server and it will now generate my password for me. Data successful, please click the query results button. So I'm just gonna press query results just to query that password. Right, so now our password has been calculated and if you notice it's now in the box. So what we do now is you can press copy here and if you go back to our original screen, EIS, you'll notice now that our password is populated. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this file because now this file has got all our information in it. It's got our EIS data and it's got our password. So let's save that file into my folder. 
So now with this file, I can generate my key file ready to be put onto my key. So I go to generate key file. I untick everything. Now I'm going to pick V051 because 41 is for keyless. And then I pick my key slot. So on this vehicle, I'm just going to pick key slot 8. Also, first I have to load my EIS file in. So I'm going to go load EIS file. I'm going to go to the latest file that I've just done. That's put all the information on. I've now selected my VO51. I've got number eight is ticked. If you notice, number one and two are in red because they're the ones that are used for the two original keys. And these are my spare key files there. So I've got number eight. I've got my load file ready. So I just press generate. So I'm going to save that file that I've just generated. Successfully generated. Now I'm going to go to read write key. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to get my auto wave key. I'm going to insert it into my device and I'm going to press read. So if we look now on the screen, we can tell this is a brand new key. It's not been used, it's got no SSID, and it's been allocated, not a position. There's no position been allocated to that key. So that's fine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna write onto this key. So we're gonna press open file write. We're gonna press okay. We're gonna select the key file that we've just generated there. And now that is automatically gonna write that onto the key. If you can notice now it's writing the data onto that key. Right success. So what we'll do now, we'll just confirm that. So we'll read the key. Okay, so it's failed on that occasion. That's not a problem. What I'll do, we'll just insert it again just to make sure we've not put it in wrong. Read the key. So if you notice now, now it's got an SSID, you can see it's been put into position eight. So this key should now start the vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll just remove the key from the MV device. We'll put it into our EIS. Sometimes you have to wait five to 10 seconds for the key to activate. So you might put it in to start with, it might not do anything, it might not turn. Just bear with it, give it five to 10 seconds to initialize. You'll hear the noise of the steering lock go and then the vehicle will turn on. So we'll try and start the vehicle. Vehicle starts. We'll remove the key, we'll press lock, we'll press unlock. So that works fine. We'll just confirm my original key still works. And it does. So that's it. That's the way of doing a Mercedes key on a Mercedes Sprinter 2013 using the CGDI MB tool available from Autowave in stock today. Our next job to do with our Mercedes is to do our emergency blade, which is in the end of the key. So, we're going to use our Godzilla machine today. We're going to find Mercedes on our database. Mercedes um, Sprinter. Let's see if we've got Sprinter. Yes, Sprinter. It's HU64, and we've got a choice of normal, one tooth after 2010, another one after 2010. So, on this vehicle, I'm going to do it as the first one there. So, I'm going to go to my clamp, I'm going to go to position C, I'm going to put my blade in. Line it up with the line and I'm going to learn it.
successfully learnt. I'm just going to compare my image. That looks good to me. So I'm going to put my new bleed into my machine. Line it up with the same line. Press cutting and let it work. Right, so that's one side cut. Let's just clean it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. Flip it over. Start again. So, that's our blade cut now on both sides. All we need to do now is go out to our vehicle and just try it. Just insert that into the door. Locks, unlocks. And that's it, it's the blade cut. Please like, drop a like below or drop us a comment below in the box. Thanks for watching, see you next time.